Hey guys, it's Rachel, and it was requested that I do an overview on my MAC palette, but I'm going to have to go quick, because, um, it's 15 shadows, so, yeah. First is the bling. It's a really, really, really gorgeous color. It's pink with gold-ish shimmer old-ish um so I have to look at the finishes the finish is a Lux pearl and it's like kind of bubble gummy but it has really pretty gold reflex and that's without a base I really really like the Lux pearls they give a nice sh shimmer effect Next is Trax, and it's a deep burgundy color with some gold reflex, and the finish is a velvet. It's also really nice. It's um, it's really super soft. The this finish of the color, um, it's pretty. It's pigmented, but I usually use it sheer and. It's just a really pretty color. I like it. It's really good for the outer V. Uh, that's what I use it for. I never use it for really anything else. Next, one of my top favorites, Stars and Rockets. I don't even need to swipe that much to get color, but I'm just making sure you can see it. Look at that. It's a um, really nice purple with a blue duochrome. And... It's a Velux Pearl. I really, really love Velux Pearls. They kind of give like, like the duochrome effect. And it's super soft and silky and pigmented beyond belief. I mean, I'm wearing it actually over, this has been on the whole day though, so. Um, over a Revlon, one of the Revlon things that I have. And it changed color really, really coolly. Next is Moon's Reflection. And it's a gorgeous clear baby blue. And I think it's a Velux as well. Yeah, it's a Velux Pearl. And it has like a nice, even lighter blue like reflex with some white in it. And it's so pigmented and gorgeous and it goes great with Stars and Rockets. That's it. I'm trying to go through this quickly. Next is Parrot. It was a limited edition, so you can't get it anymore unless you can find it at CCO or your Mac store still. It might be still on the website, on the goodbye list. Or how do you spell it? And there you go. It still is. Um, it's a frost, and it's really, really nice. I like it. It's a tealy green color and I like it next is a matte squared it's matte squared I mean, it's super soft super pigmented like um not my favorite because it's a little too bright for me but it's nice as a liner like on upper um and it's called clarity it's just a bright a bright soft silky blue color next is another matte squared and this is newly minted one of my favorite greens look at that it's soft again great clean just clean green color I love it next is What is it? Um, poop. I don't know what this is. I don't even know the color. I need to find the color name. Mom! I'm making my food. Um, steamy. Steamy. It's a really nice... What texture is it? I think it's a frost as well. Load. Yeah, it's a frost. It's a nice 
alternative to like a blue because it's kind of has that blue tinge and you can work with it with greens and blue so that's really nice and it has a gr like a nice blue undertone to it uh, next is teal pressed pigment um i don't think the pigments have a texture i think it's a frost though maybe and it's just a teal honestly it's teal and it's right there Next is Parfait More. Um, the texture, the satin, makes this horrible because it doesn't come off the color that you want it to be. Like the other ones, that got so much more color from it. Like, let's see how many times I have to do it to get color, to get a good color. Look at that. It doesn't apply on the eye as nicely as you want it to. Like. Look, it's not pigmented, but it's a really nice color if you can work with it for a long time. If you have like time to work with it, because you definitely will have to get a good base to make this color pop. Next is Fig One, and it's a matte squirt. I love the matte squirt texture because they remind me of the steel eyeshadows, the buttery texture. Um, it's a nice dark purple, burgundy ish. It's really great for the crease. I'm not wear I'm actually wearing a little bit of it today, just tiny, tiny bit, because I didn't want it too dark. But look how gorgeous that is. It goes great with Parfait More when it's like when you can actually get it to be pigmented. Next is a discontinued color, um, Moss Brown. It's a great, great, great brownie with the purple reflect. You can see that. And it's really nice in the crease for purples, uh, blues, really anything. It's really nice. I don't know what uh, texture it is because it's discontinued, but you can find it on Spectra so easily, probably. Honey Lust is a luster. The luster eyeshadows stink. It's so much fallout with this color. It's gorgeous though, so like, I love it anyway. But look at the color payoff. There's like none. You have to really, really work with it too. I like using it under my L'Oreal Hip Shadow Stick. Next is Shroom, one of my favorite highlighters. It's just a nice off-white color. And Shroom is a satin. Rachel, we can have a pizza or a hot dog? Pizza. What? Pizza. And just a really nice highlighter color on my skin. Again, I would go to like a Mac store and figure out what a good highlighter is. Well, not again, but I would go to a Mac store and figure out what the good highlighter a good highlighter is for you because people have different skin tones and things show up differently on everyone. And next is just I'll use different um, it's a really nice just base color. It reminds me of Hay from Fafi. It is Oh, I didn't know there was a lip sync name that too. It is a frost and it's a really nice peachy color and I like to use it sometimes under eyeshadow to make them pop even more. Like use a base and then this. It's a really nice peach color and it's great for neutral colors. So yeah, that's my MAC palette review. I love my MAC palette and I want to get a new one because I have like four shadows that I need to depot. No, I have like three. But I will have like four soon. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's my review. I love my MAC palette. Definitely great investment to get one. It saves so much space and it's easy, everything's here, and you can like see everything next to each other. And you don't have to like open every little container. So yeah, that's it. That's my palette on my hand. Thank you guys for watching, and bye!